Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these three identical blue semicircles inscribed in a big red semicircle, as you can see in this diagram, such that these blue semicircles are tangent to each other. And now we are going to show which perimeter is larger, either red or blue. And just keep in your mind that we must justify our answer. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, just keep in your mind that the perimeter over here in these circles is same as dealing with the circumference. And now let's recall the circumference of a circle formula. Circumference is always equal to pi times d where d represents the diameter of uh, a circle. Now let's assume the diameter of this uh, blue semicircle is uh, d. And since we are dealing with these uh, three identical semicircles, so therefore this diameter is going to be a d. And likewise, this is going to be d as well. And if we add all these d's, we are going to get uh, d plus d plus d is going to be 3 times d. So therefore, the diameter of this uh, red semicircle is going to be 3 times d. So therefore, we have got the diameter of uh, each uh, blue semicircle is uh, d. And the diameter of this uh, red semicircle is uh, 3 times d. So therefore, the circumference of the three blue semicircles is going to be 3 times pi times d divided by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircles. So if we can simplify, we can write this thing 3 pi d divided by 2 is the circumference of these all three blue semicircles. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And now let's go ahead and calculate the circumference of this uh, red uh, semicircle. And now let's recall once again the circumference of a circle formula, which is uh, pi times uh, d. And in our case, the diameter for this uh, red uh, semicircle is uh, 3d. So therefore, the circumference of this uh, red semicircle is going to be pi times our diameter is uh, 3d. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore I'm going to divide it by 2. And this could be written as uh, 3 pi d divided by 2. And let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And now if we compare equations 1 and 2, we can see that on the right hand side uh, we have the same uh, quantity. So therefore we conclude that the red perimeter equals to the blue perimeter. So therefore both of them have the same value. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.